Watching my mom put her makeup on was a, a spiritual experience. Although I always thought my mom was beautiful, even without makeup, I watched her become braver and braver as she put it on every morning before work. You know, when I was growing up, I didn't always feel beautiful, and sometimes I still, I still don't feel beautiful. But makeup and my fans, they really changed that for me. I found the same purpose as my mother. My mother wanted to help kids feel empowered and brave, and so do I. I want to change the world. That's why I'm here. That's why I do what I do. I appreciate you so much being here tonight. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Honestly, I'm standing here greater than I've ever been. I'm dealing with my own mental health issues around fame. And finally, being able to really show up for the world the way that I want to and the way that I believe that I'm supposed to. When I look in the mirror, I remind myself, makeup or not, that I'm here to be a conduit by spreading love, by spreading kindness to the world, and also I remind myself to spread kindness to myself. Yes, ma'am. Which I want each and every one of you to do. We are not just launching makeup. This is a glamour attack on the world to be accepting, humble, brave, yes. and above all, empowered. I want to be a part of that, honey. No matter how you identify, all are welcome at House Laboratories. And you might not always be in our laps, but you're always in our hearts. The, lit the literal Hello. Baby, we're here at House Laboratory. 
Thank you. <laughs> Bitch, cause cover boy covers these boys, honey. Yeah. And look, and 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 it's, it's cafeteria lighting. Okay. You know what? This is cafeteria lighting, but we look cute though. Look at my lashes with the blue ones, top and bottom. Are they cover boy? Yeah. Oh, can you? I need you to send me one. I want to sure. do a video yeah, on that. Yes, yes. I'll put, you in, I'll put you in the primary no, makeup line. I, okay, I yes. am here for drag queens doing their own makeup line. Bitch, the yeah. house. So I will review I it the you. house. I see you and I thank you and I worship. Yeah. You have the most gross and stones on of any bitch in the community. And I have a lot of stones on to myself. I'm, I'm something down. simple. Stone down representing mother. You're just doing something simple today. Goddess of Gaga, we're celebrating house slab. The house. The house. The house. Oh. I'm about to meet mother. Delicious. Delicious. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Wait, am I filming? This is a moment. Am I filming? Still? Are you filming? Yeah. I don't know. Are you? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I just met Lady Gaga, you guys. I can't even deal. It was such a moment. It was such a moment. Oh, I'm gonna treasure this moment forever, darling. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. I can't even. Look, okay, I'm here with everybody, honey. Oh, I love you. Yeah, it looks literally perfect. Let's get the light. Let's get the light. Let's get. Oh, look at us, just women, just you wearing look like something. Like the on since eight in the Girl, what you been doing? She been filming. <laughs> she been <laughs> working and grinding. You look perfect. My God. Oh, thank you. You're so beautiful too. By the way, this. Okay, get the light. This is the first time we meet, honey. It is. Girl, oh, you just moved here though. I just moved here. Okay, give me the review. How do you look like out so far? Oh my God, I'm still in the honeymoon phase because okay. everything's so sickening and there's like so many boys. And there's like so much trade, and like there's so much gayness everywhere. We do. You know, I've been here for four years now, and I'm still in the honeymoon phase. Oh, girl, the honeymoon phase is real. It really is. It's kind of fun. Yeah, but you know what? When you're like very feminine creatures like us, like the honeymoon women, it just stays like the honeymoon just stays. Oh, I love that I finally got to meet you. You're such a sweetheart. What's the tea, everybody? This is your girl, your big ass BBW girl, Luscious Massacre. Oh! oh my God, you guys, I cannot believe it. Oh my God, what is my life? Oh, I can't, I'm, I'm so speechless. Like, wh what just happened? Like seriously, what just happened? Okay, first of all, before I continue, I just got back from the house labs, the house laboratories, honey, like Miss Gaga said. And I just want to say that I am so beyond shook that tonight even happened. Let me tell you guys something. I, 
I can't. For somebody like me, for me to even be here in Los Angeles, being from Brownsville, Texas, a little gay chubby brown boy, this was not possible. This kind of dream, what I'm going through right now, the life I'm living, 10 years ago, this was impossible to even fathom. I would have never ever been able to dream this big if it wasn't for Lady Gaga. I'm sorry, as cheesy as that sounds, I would not be here if it wasn't for her. Let me tell you, I used to be a very, very insecure human being who had extremely low self-esteem. I had no confidence in myself. I did not love myself, guys. And for a very long time, when I was younger, when I was like 18, 19, 20, I was so hard on myself because I did not love myself. Everything in the world, everything in society told me that I was a mistake, that the way that I loved, the way that I felt, the way that I looked, the way that I talked, the way that I walked, like a little homosexual honey. Everything about me, society always made me feel left out, always made me feel unlovable. There are two people in this planet who I can credit with waking me up. And one of them I got to meet tonight. Oh my God, this is so, I'm, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna go through the gigs. I'm gonna save it until after the cameras are rolling because I feel like I've cried enough on my channel. You guys have no idea how powerful it was for me to meet Lady Gaga. The first time I ever saw her in real life was in 2010 at the Monster Ball. And let me tell you, for any gay, honey, if you ever got the opportunity to see that tour live, that was at the height of her fame. She had just dropped Bad Romance. Every single one of her songs had gone number one. When she did that tour, the message of that tour was believe in yourself. Believe in yourself so much, like a crazy person, that you make everybody else start to believe in you too. And that really resonated with me. It really was so impactful for me to see somebody who embraced queer people, somebody who told you that you could make your dreams come true regardless of what you look like or who you were. And it was so powerful to me. And I feel like I have had such a deep, spiritual connection to Lady Gaga throughout all these years. It was so powerful to be able to meet her tonight and tell her in person. Because let me tell you, having that moment with her, having that one-on-one -on -one where we really got to talk to each other and we really connected to each other. Look, I'm gonna tell you what I told her. On the microphone, she said that regardless of mental illness, regardless if you're going through depression or anxiety or anything like that, the reason why she wanted to be a part of the beauty community was to bring positivity, to bring love, to bring kindness. You know, she's clearly, she's had her struggle when I finally got a chance to meet her and I went up to her, I told her, hey, I know that you get this all the time, girl. I know that you get this all the time, but I'm gonna tell you this right now and I need you to pay attention. And literally she looked at me and she's like, okay. She took it so serious and she said, okay, okay. She grabbed my hands, she leaned in and I told her these next three words that I'm gonna tell you. I want you to listen to what I'm saying and I want these words to go deep into your soul. I know that people tell you this all the time, but you have no idea how you have impacted my life and you have no idea how much of an inspiration you have been to me. So pay attention when I tell you these next three words. And she leaned in and I said, I love you. I love you. And I want you to take this with you whenever you're going through whenever you're feeling lonely, whenever you're going through the gigs, whatever you're going through, I just want you to know that you're not alone. And I don't want you to, for a second, to feel like you're alone because we are out here. There are so many people who you have changed their lives and they are here because of you. I love you. Oh my God, it was so beautiful. We had such a moment. We got to talk. It was so cute, you guys. It was really such a moment for me to be able to just say those words to her and to just be able to pay all of that love and all of that kindness back. Because that's what we gotta do, baby, in this life. Sometimes when you get love and you get kindness, not everybody gets love. Not everybody feels kindness. And we have to pay it forward. We have to give it back. 
and I just wanted her to have it right back to give it back to her because she has been such a force in my life and because of her and her words and her message I have gotten to where I am if it was not for Lady Gaga honey there would be no luscious massacre okay that's just the real team I would not be able to be doing what I'm doing at the capacity that I'm doing living in Los Angeles doing makeup being queer being loud being proud being unapologetic being fierce being a whatever a makeup artist whatever you want to call me this journey of self-discovery would have never started without Lady Gaga. I can tell you that wholeheartedly. Hanny. So I just wanted to say that really quickly before I even continue. <laughs> Lady Gaga, I love you to death. I love you so much. I got to meet her team. They took me to the back so I could meet her and say hi to her. I had conversations that I'm not even gonna share with you guys here on camera because these are just moments that I really wanna treasure forever. But I just wanna say that House of Beauty owes me nothing. They were everything to me. Tonight, was a dream come true and I almost didn't even go to the event guys I just want to say if you're out there right now and you feel like you don't believe in yourself and you feel like your dreams will never come true and you feel like you're not worthy I am here to tell you that if I have been able to get to this point you can follow your dreams and you can make your dreams come true if it happened for me it can happen for you okay oh my god okay Let's go ahead and get, <laughs> I am just so excited. Oh my God, can we just have a moment? Can I just have a moment to say that I'm in such a happy place? Like you guys, I am in such a happy place right now. I could pinch myself. It's insane and it's humbling and it's incredible and I'm taking it in. I am taking snapshots and I'm taking video with my eyes, with my brain. Cause there are things that sometimes you can't capture through video. You cannot capture through a picture. You just have to take it in. And that's where I'm at right now. I am literally fully present in my life and I see how blessed I am. I don't take it for granted and I see happiness. It's a beautiful thing. And I just want to tell you guys that it's real and it exists. Happiness is a real thing. I know that there's a lot of people out there who they don't get to see happiness every day. And sometimes you feel like it's not even real. It's not attainable. And let me tell you, baby, if you hang in there and you fight for your life, you can experience true happiness with your own two eyes. So hang in there, baby. Let's move on, girl, because I'm getting too, I'm doing too much. I'm doing the most. I am going to <laughs> really quickly go over the House Laboratories collection, honey, from Lady Gaga. This is a brand and this is a makeup that I can really stand behind because when she was giving her speech, honey, let me tell you, I felt like she was talking to me. She said, let's do something different. Let's be unafraid to be unique. Be unafraid to change up. Okay, be unafraid to be you. Be brave. It's the hardest thing you're ever going to do. And I cannot stress to you enough how much that applies to me and what I'm doing. Because half the time, not half the time, all the time, I don't fit in in the beauty industry and I know that. But I am here fighting and I'm not going to give up until I make my dreams come true. And I know that right now I'm an unpolished diamond, but I know my worth. And there will come a day when this diamond will shine. Mark my words, it's people like Lady Gaga and her messaging and her brand that give me hope because there are people out there who are paying attention. There are brands out there that are willing to put their name on us, on the weirdos, on the weird kids who are really truly lovers of makeup and who want to experiment and express themselves and be themselves. Because let me tell you, this is me. When I do my makeup, this comes out of my hands. What you see is what you get. This is me. This is coming from me. Anyways, oh! I'm gonna keep going, I keep going, I keep going. Let me talk about the makeup. We got House Laboratories, honey. What have we got here? What have we got here? Oh, these are cute. I saw everybody wearing these. This is called a face lace, and you can literally put these over your eyes. This is very on brand with Lady Gaga, honey. Very on brand. We also have the Venus. This is Venus. Le Riot Lip Gloss in the shade Venus. Look at the packaging, very Lady Gaga. It reminds me again of the Monster Ball. This is a lip liner. Can y'all see this? Oh, cute. So it's like a little nude. Okay, come on, nude, honey. This is a myth, myth eyeliner. Oh, this is another nude. Okay, come on, Gaga, with the nudes, babe. Oh, this is more of a mauve deeper nude. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna use this one, the house. The house, honey, the house down. Okay, this is a liquid eyeliner. Ah, oh, I can't wait. <gasps> oh, oh. I'm so gagged. This is what I wanted. This is what I want. A house laboratories eyeliner, darling. Mama is, 
Oh, 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 oh. I was seeing everybody use these. Oh, I can't believe that I got one. Oh my God, Hana, Bonna, Hana. I'm so ready. Let's talk about this. What is this? This is a lipstick. This is a Glam Attack All Over Liquid Shimmer Powder. And you know what? I love that too. I love the messaging, Glam Attack. When she was giving her speech, she was saying, let's attack the beauty industry with love, positivity, and kindness. And I love that. And it's true. We need some love. We need some positivity, baby. We need some kindness baby because the beauty community be doing the most we need to leave the bs behind honey and give you the fantasy and we need to start being kinder to each other we need to start spreading some love okay that's been my message on this channel i have been trying to stay away from drama stay away from any kind of negativity toxicity stay away from the trolls and bring positivity and try to make a difference in the world Le riot lip gloss this is another lip gloss Ooh, ah oh, i love me a lip gloss honey i'm gonna tell the trade come kiss me with my little Gaga House Laboratories lip gloss fantasy honey. Come get all up in these cakes with the laboratory fantasy. Gaga came through with the glosses, honey. Ooh, this is like a gold. This is like a gold gloss. This is gonna be on my lips, the house. Oh my God, I got the entire collection, you guys. Did y'all clock my Fitbit, honey? She's a dietary kind of girl. Yes. Oh my God, look, get up in the gig. You got another lip gloss? That's cute. I love that Gaga is bringing different kind of things. I saw that she was doing like liquid shine. Shadows. We got another liner. The collection is oh oh that's very vampy oh that's gonna go with this lip liner in the shade slayer and you know what i love i can even see my mom wearing these and i think she would get her life gaga is bringing makeup she's making it her own but she's making it accessible to everyone she wants everyone to be able to sign up to the party and be a cool kid at the party and i love that oh this is pretty this one over here Yes, these colors are very, very wearable. You know, cause this Lady Gaga, let's be honest, she be doing all kinds of avant-garde. She could have really done something that, you know, not everybody would have been really comfortable with. And look at that. Oh, that's pretty. And I love that she came out with something that's very on brand for her, but at the same time, it's very accessible by everyone. Any kind of level of makeup, whether you wear makeup or not, this is accessible to everybody. So I love that. This is in the shade Rose. This is another. Is this a gloss? No, I think that is an eyeshadow. Ooh, this reminds me of those Stila glitter shadows. Oh, I love how editorial and how model. Like, it reminds me of like runway. Like, no one's doing that. You see what I'm saying? She's bringing something different. She didn't just come out with an eyeshadow palette like everybody else. She didn't do the same thing and the same formula that everybody else is doing. She dropped liquid shadows that can go on the eye for a one and done, and it'll look really cute. And I love that i love that she did something different that's another eyeshadow look oh that's pretty you can smoke that out and it'll look so stunning i can't wait to play with this stuff and put it all over my face let me shine it right here there another eyeshadow look how stunning that is girl being me i would probably put that all over my lips okay trust there's no rules to makeup guys you can put your makeup on whatever however way which way you want it so this is in the shade legend the gold one. and then this green one is in the shade dynasty last but not least we have the liquid shadow right here this is in the shade dynasty look how stunning these are colors that we're not seeing right now you guys that green i have not seen that green out there so this is a house laboratories collection from lady gaga get all up in the entire fantasy look how stunning Stunning that is. I got the entire collection, honey, by Lady Gaga herself. I got to meet her. It was a dream come true. I can't. I cannot. I cannot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please share this video, you guys. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, honey. Tweet, tweet. And then also make sure you subscribe to my channel. Pretty please with a cherry on top. The little homosexual cherry, honey. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notifications. Make sure you're getting those gay notifications. Ugh. Before I go, let's have a moment. Before I go, I just want to say really quickly that whatever you're going through, just remember, it's not that serious. It's just life. Get out of your head. Get out of your own way. And be present in the moment and enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys. Bye.